Hi, so ages ago, I used to make a lot of graphene. I still make a lot of graphene, but I was looking at all kinds of ways to do it because there are a huge number of ways to do it. And the Japanese experimented in a couple of papers about five years ago for what they called mechanical exfoliation. I mean, essentially what they did was take some graphite and rub it hard on some plastic. And when they rubbed it hard on some plastic, just like a pencil, flakes would come off and be sheared to make graphene and this was quite a popular paper at the time and we did a few videos replicating that and creating graphene sheets of various types to use for things like heating applications now i have an interest in the moment in parabolic reflectors for solar cookers and solar heating and solar sterling and if you watch Nighthawk in Light's video, he has a process where he straps down a bit of um, mylar sheet and blows some air in it, creates a dome and makes a reflector out of that. Love that video, but I was pondering this, thinking, okay, if we could do that or do something like that in graphene, wouldn't that be pretty awesome? Now, I sent some graphene antennas out to a friend of mine who tested them and he told me that they were 99.9% .9 infrared reflective. So, it should work really well as a parabolic mirror for solar reflection if we can make it. Now, during all that experimentation years ago, I discovered certain things. One is that the material matters. If you try to coat acrylic, it's an absolute nightmare. If you try to coat polypropylene or polyethylene, it is super, super simple. So, to test this idea out, I went and cut myself a breakfast bowl made out of polypropylene. Nice, smooth surface, got itself a convex shape. Now, it's quite deep, so if we can do this, the focal point's going to be somewhere here-ish, rather than somewhere out there, because of the depth. So, it's going to be around about there-ish, something like that. What we have to do to mechanically apply our graphene sheet is take some graphite, and this is 5 micron, and a bit of wool felt. And to be honest, all it requires is a bowl, graphite, felt, and lots of elbow grease, because you just put your graphite onto here and rub it into the bowl, very little indeed, and you just rub it hard. And you keep on rubbing it until you get that beautiful and shiny. So I was trying to think of a way to show you that this thing actually worked, and I came up with this. We're gonna measure the temperature in the ambient. You can see it's 25 in the ambient. We're going to focus the sun with this a little bit. Now, it's not quite a parabola, so it won't quite work as well as a parabola, but we should get a significant increase in heat if we can stick this thermometer in the point where the sun focuses. So let's give that a go. There we go. 38, no worries at all. So it is focusing the sun onto that point and we're getting a significant temperature difference. Okay, that was most assuredly proof of concept stuff, okay? We used the Japanese papers to mechanically exfoliate graphite onto the surface of a polypropylene concave bowl. We could improve that beyond belief. We need a better parabolic shape, which we'd have to make. There's a big question in my mind is, could you apply it flat and then stretch it into the shape that you would want? Because that would be super easy. And should anybody want to try that, of course, what you need is a sheet of polypropylene, some graphite and some wool and a bit of time. And you'd be able to try this out and see if you could do that. And if you can do that, let me know, because I'll be absolutely fascinated. And I might actually get around to it at some time or other. I'm not 100% sure, but we can make a graphene reflector for solar. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.